it's summertime. By the time I leave the gym, the heat has drained all of my energy. Thankfully, I don't have to drive. As a passenger, you have time to look out the window. Being back here after eight years, I can see how much of the city has changed. The growing infrastructure reminds me of the cities in the States. I'm far too familiar with big city problems. It makes me want to pack up and move to the mountains. Speaking of city problems, it's time to dive back into the archives again. This time, we're revisiting my worst experience in San Francisco. The trip that forever changed my view of my once favorite city. I feel again like maybe four hours of sleep every night. I think it's the fifth day today. Gary, then me at least art art can't digit it yeah sometimes even more so a whole lot of coffee view here san francisco is about five hours away still from here probably get that really late this was the best idea ever though set this mattress up in here it's like sleeping on a fucking cloud my cousin Harris is visiting me from England and we're on a trip across the west coast. So far, we've traveled south from Oregon, gone through Death Valley, Nevada to reach Vegas. From Vegas to San Diego and back up north to LA. We're on our way from LA to San Francisco. Today, he's about to get the authentic San Francisco experience. 2,000 miles on the way to San Francisco. Fourth destination, five days. Five days, that's five true, days. yeah. I'm feeling it now. <laughs> Alright. Until now, I'd only had pleasant memories of San Francisco, but all that was about to change. Regardless of what's about to happen next, the West Coast is still the best place to be. Whether you're on the coast, the mountains, or the valley, the West Coast sunsets are truly out of this world. We've made it to San Francisco, but it's really late. We have time for some food and a bit of r and Then we have to sleep for a few short hours, shower and get back on the road. But I'm about to make the biggest mistake in a city with one of the highest crime rates in America. Okay. <laughs> कुछ कर तो नहीं सकते वो लेकिन रिपोर्ट करा लेते हैं उनसे पूछते हैं कहां से खिड़की सही कराए ये आवाज आ रही है बहुत अब गाड़ी हमने उधर लेके जाने वाले का हो आज हमने चिल करना था आज हमने चिल करना था ये ये हमारा चिलिंग टाइम चल रहा है अभी street in front of the hotel entrance was a major blunder. Should have parked a few blocks away in the parking structure, but we were exhausted and thought it's right in front of the entrance, so what's the worst that could happen? We only had a few hours to rest and shower, so we didn't bother taking everything out of the car. It was like coating a steak in honey and tossing it in front of a hungry bear, hoping it wouldn't eat it. Of course, we were about to become a statistic. Plus, the SFPD is as useless as the G in lasagna. So now, instead of exploring the city, we're getting the window fixed.
अच्छा भाई तो ये सी ना कि गाड़ी का शीशा हमने ठीक करा लिया गाड़ी का शीशा जो है अगले दो तीन दिन तक अब बंद रहेगा सही हो गया यार एक सौ पचास का ठीक हुआ महंगा हो गया लेकिन मतलब एटलीस्ट उन्होंने कर दिया टाइम पे आ, हमें निकलना था एक्चुअली बारह बजे तक कोशिश की हमारी हम निकल पड़े हैं लेक का वैसे ही मुझे भी गुस्सा चढ़ा हुआ थोड़ा खैर बारह बजे तक हमने निकलना था यार लेकिन अब सीन ही हो गया कि हम लोग यहीं पे फंसे रहे हैं और अभी दो ढाई तो ये बज रहे हैं और अभी हमने खाना भी नहीं खाया रात को भी हमने खाना नहीं खाया सुबह भी नहीं मतलब कल हमारा एक ही बार खाना हुआ है हालत तो भी बहुत टाइट है अभी हम आए हुए हैं इन खाना खाने और बस खाना खा के हमने चेक करना है गोल्डन गेट ब्रिज गोल्डन गेट ब्रिज चेक करके निकला सीधा लेक टाउ के लिए Try to forget that I've just lost about four thousand dollars worth of shit. हर दो सेकंड बाद ना मसला ये हर दो सेकंड बाद कुछ एक चीज याद आती है ओह फक दे ओसो चेक दैट दे ओसो चेक दैट चार्जर्स ले गए हैं यार गोप्रो का सामान ले गए हैं ड्रोन ले गए हैं कपड़े ले गए हैं कपड़े ले गए हैं यार चड़ियां नहीं है मेरे पास अभी चड़ियां भी खरीदनी पड़ेंगी मतलब ये बड़ा चलो कोई नहीं हूं मेरी बेवकूफी है कि अभी तक हम जितने भी होटल्स पे गए सब में मैंने कहा था कि यार अपने चीज़ें अंदर लेके जा रही हैं सीन जरा यहाँ पे कंफर्म नहीं होता कैसे लोग हैं पहली बार रात को मैंने हम थके हुए हैं काफ़ी थके हुए थे बस जाके लेटते हैं यार और हम अंदर जाके लेट गए हैं बाहर निकले जी शीशा टूटा हुआ था क्या किया जा सकता है क्या किया जा सकता है चलो नहीं जी Bucky get trip off the Achigo lady. If I was a Trump supporter, I would have said that I was a victim of black activities. But the truth is, San Francisco has a serious homeless problem. This is one of the most expensive cities to live in. And unlike the rich areas in LA and San Diego, even the elite posh cunts can't ignore these people. They're everywhere. This is the first city I've seen beggars. In. Aggressive bastards too. The car break-ins are a part of organized crime here. But honestly, any person living on the streets, regardless of gang affiliation, given the opportunity, would smash your window and take your belongings. I wasn't upset that everything was stolen. Along with the highest highs, I've experienced the lowest lows in my life. So I'll rebuild, get back. I was just upset that I barely got to use that road, and I was really looking forward to getting some incredible shots on the upcoming adventure part of this trip. What is all good? When you've been traveling as long as I have, something like this is bound to happen eventually. This is all we had time to see apart from the repair shop and the police station. This was as authentic of a San Francisco experience as you can get, and I don't recommend it. I've been there countless times, and honestly there's a lot to do in this city. But it's time to leave this shit hole and go to my favorite place in the entire US, Lake Tahoe, a slice of heaven on earth. <laughs>